In India, in Bharat, people have traditionally saved at least a fifth of their income in gold. So India has the largest private reserves of gold in the world. It's more than the entire world put together. Private reserves, not government owned. It's a very big strength, that power to, to keep aside something because you don't use it all up for consuming. So it's a different approach. It's a way of welcoming capital, but standing up against greedy capital. Because not all capital is bad. Capital is needed for a society to have abundance, to prosper. But the problem is the greedy capital. That's where the problem is. And if, if India is smart and careful, then one can have the advantages of capital without the disadvantages of greedy capital. And that, that's the, the tight rope that has to be walked now. Because you can't say no to capital when it's coming, it comes. It decides to come, it comes, you know. They tried to keep it out for some time, for some decades, but now it's in, you know, with a vengeance. If each time, each person in this country, or actually anywhere in the world, asks the question before they consume something, it's that simple. Is it really something for me to consume? And if they realize the difference when it's the ego and when it's the truth and they go with the truth, literally the battle is won.